G'day trendsetters. I'm taking the Amtrak auto train. That's not the auto train over there. It's over that direction. I've got my vehicle here. I'm going to load it onto the train. Well, someone from Amtrak is going to load it onto the train. And I'm headed up to Maryland, Virginia to do some riding before the weather gets too cold. And I'll show you real quick. The car is loaded with stuff. There you go, bloody bikes, shoes, wheels, all sorts of stuff, tools. I actually have two review bikes in here. Let's uh, crack on and get the car headed in towards Amtrak, etc. Here we are, heading in towards the Amtrak auto train. Well, it's raining here, so let's try and clear the windscreen and see what's going on. Those are some of the carriages and so on, and I've uh, forked out extra cash for the sleeper car, so that should be nice. So now I just have to uh, line up, basically get myself checked in, and then the Amtrak folks will place my vehicle onto one of those rail cars right there. So I'll be taking the essentials out of the car, backpack and that sort of stuff, laptop and what have you. Waiting patiently alone before I present my driver's license. All right, this lady likely will not want to be filmed, so the camera is going to get switched off. Off to lane one to unload my vehicle. Then the bloke up there is probably going to do a little inspection of the vehicle, make sure there's no damage and stuff. They always pre-film, so I can't say, hey dude, you dented my bloody car in transit. So just over there are the automobile rail cars and you might notice they've all got ramps lined up. So that gentleman there is driving a passenger's car in, he's going to load it into the rail car. This is about as close as I can get unfortunately. Anyway, every car is numbered. There you go. He's going into the bottom. These rail cars have two levels. That's where everyone exits their vehicle, goes inside the terminal, and this be the terminal looking from the outside. Well, I just got myself all checked in. Ready to go. Check out how much crap I'm bringing on board the train here, will you? This is kind of too much. Bloody cooler, two laptops, pillows, and a backpack. So, you know, I always have a second laptop in case the first one blows up. <laughs> Here we are out on the platform. Quite early. There are my little quarters. As you can see, I have way too much crap in here. So here is a good look inside the Amtrak remettes. That's where I'm sitting, obviously, and I'm by myself. But I believe this folds out these seats to become the lower bunk bed. And up here is the top bunk, assuming a second person. There's also controls for airflow and so on power supply there's enough power to run my powerful laptop for doing video editing and there's a decent amount of room in here I've got a couple of backpacks a cooler there's a mirror there's me hello and whatnot so it's pretty comfortable With two people it could be a little bit more squeezy but uh, if you're good friends no worries at all there's also a fold-out table you're supposed to do this with two hands, by the way, not one. Holds out like that. And so on, so plenty of working area for your laptop and, of course, your meals. Here are today's menu choices, and I'm going to be enjoying the baked mozzarella manicotti. It looks like we might finally be leaving. It's quite a process building the train. Usually it rolls at about 4 p.m. It's a little bit early right now. So no complaints. Well, this is bloody beautiful. The train's rolling nicely. 
We've got the cabin door shut, it's super quiet, peaceful and relaxing in here. Somewhere north of Seville, Florida. Welcome to Palatka, Florida. Because we're in the time of COVID, I took the option to have my meal served to me in my little quarters. It was just dropped off. Look at this. In this container is red wine. Brilliant. There we go. Delish. Chocolate lava cake dessert. Manicotti. And I might just consume the red wine within this coffee cup because there are barely any rules in this cabin. Welcome to Jacksonville, Florida, where time is about 6 o'clock p.m. Because it's COVID-19, I have to wear a mask walking about the train. I think it's time to go for a train walk. Oh, there's a the shower, nice. And there's the door, there's me in the mirror. This end of the train, you've got bathrooms and that's a family size room, room H in this case. Here's a look inside one of the bathrooms, just like an air liner bathroom. Mm. Don't forget, be considerate of the next passenger and clean up. I didn't know that. Bombardier make aircraft, they also make rail cars. Interesting. Let's go upstairs for a look. So this is a sleeper car. These rooms on this side are bigger family type rooms. And obviously they cost more than my little roomette. There you go, I'm in carriage number five, two, four, two. COVID not really being used as much. A lot of people are eating in their rooms, in particular people like me. Here, no one's coming out. <laughs> I love this one here. Playing cards, five dollars. Passenger comfort kits. That could be what, like a juice box and a hug. COVID has definitely changed things. I've traveled with Amtrak before on the auto train, and a lot of times you see people socializing down here, hanging out, but everyone. Like myself, is just sticking to themselves and staying away, so that's a real shame. Sometimes the rail cars rock and roll a little bit, move around. That's normal, no worries. Here's a look inside one of the bigger rooms. That's pretty nice. It's very dark outside, we're about to cross beneath a major interstate on the outskirts of Savannah, Georgia. You can see it's billboards as we press on northward. And here we are folks, my kind attendant set up the bed. So I'm on the bottom bunk obviously. Should be nice and comfy. I bought some extra pillows. Well folks, it's almost seven o'clock. Had a marvelous sleep. And the sun is slowly rising. It's time to head into the dining car for the grab and go breakfast.
Here we go, all set, no worries. Getting closer to the destination. This is Ashland, Virginia. We have arrived into Lawton, Virginia. Soon you'll see the train platform roll into view. Momentarily, once I collect my car, I'll be taking that road and taking the exit there to head into Washington or towards that general direction. This is one of the most relaxing ways of traveling to the Washington DC area. Don't have to drive the I-95 and I'm right on the outskirts. Brilliant. Welcome to Lawton, Virginia. <laughs> so passengers are unloading and these are the rail cars that carried our vehicles. Lawton, so right now they're getting those sorted out and soon they'll be unloading the rail cars. These are the priority vehicles being unloaded right now, so you can pay extra to get your vehicle unloaded first. As you can see, ahead is the ramp dropping off the Vehicles out of the rail car. Here comes the next vehicle off the rail car for a priority delivery. It'd be a Cadillac. Notice all the workers are taking precautions for COVID-19. Here comes the gravel cyclist Prius. Giddy up. Got off nice and early. And here we are, here in Lawton, Virginia. Time to get the crap loaded into the car. All right, trendsetters, off we go. We're heading into Maryland. We're staying at a friend's house, so that's super convenient. And like I said before, oh, pardon the GPS. Like I said before, this is the best way to travel to DC. Well, Maryland, Virginia, and so on. On the ring road around DC, 295. I am so excited to be here. I'm really looking forward to doing some killer rides west of uh, DC and other areas outside of Washington, DC. Well, trendsetters, it's about time to wrap up the video. I'm almost at my destination, but I hope you enjoyed seeing what goes into some of my trips in particular this experience taking the Amtrak auto train from Sanford Florida to Lawton Virginia and during a pandemic no less thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't already please subscribe to the gravel cyclist YouTube channel and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos madness product reviews and everything else tell your mates tell your friends tell everybody I'll see you in the next video